Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hotcakes, and I am in Adobe Premiere Elements version 10, and I'm going to show you how to make a nice wedding frame using some of the clips from our Wedding Essentials volume number one. Let's take a look. Okay, what you're going to need from our Wedding Essentials volume number one is the sparkles background. Now you can use either the AVI or the QuickTime movie, it does not matter. And you're also going to need the ovalframe.mov and it's very important that you use the MOV because that is, that is the clip that has the alpha channel. And you're also going to need that oval frame mat. So let's clear out our timeline so we can rebuild. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my photo and I'm going to place it in video track number one. And I'm going to extend it to eight seconds. Second, I'm going to grab that sparkles background and it's going to go in video track number two. Now we're going to bring in our oval frame dot MOV and it's going to go in video track number three. Okay, now we want to change the frame so it's a nice purple color that complements the sparkles background. So let's go under Edit, Effects, and scroll down to Image Control. I'm going to grab the tint here and, and drop it onto our oval frame clip. Click on Edit Effects, and right here we have our Map Black 2 and our Map White 2. Let's click on the little box for the Map Black 2. And let's bring this down into the purples. And just pick a nice, kind of a dark shade of purple. That looks about good. Now for the map white too, just grab your eyedropper here and drop it here in the pink of the sparkles background. Okay, and then what we need to do right here with the amount to tint is just grab this and bring it up until our frame turns a nice color of purple. All right, we took it all the way up to 100%. Okay. All right, now let's go back and add our oval frame mat. Okay, now we're going to have to apply a track mat to our sparkles clip on video track two. So let's go back to edit, effects, and we're going to scroll down to keying. Right here we're going to grab our track mat key and we're going to drop it on the sparkles clip in video track 2. Then click on your edit effects and we're going to set the mat to video 4 because that's where our mat is located. And we're going to make sure that the composite using is set to mat alpha. And then we're finished.